Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. It is early, early, early. And you have to excuse me. I'm looking a little tired because, and I, I said, well, I got to get up on here and tell them because you need to know how real it is. I know you guys know, but I, I want you to really know. Okay, so, <laughs> you, whoa. First of all, I want to give glory to God. God is good. I'm going to say it again. God is good. I'm going to say it again. God is good. And if you're up, that means you're a soldier too. Not just for work, but just been blessed by God. But I got to tell you all this. Because, and the reason why I tell you not to just, you know, be talking. So you can understand what you are going to go through. I know who I am. I know what I carry. I carry that fire. Not being arrogant and this and that. I walk with God. I talk with God. Hallelujah. So let me tell you about the warfare. I am up early this morning because I'm supposed to have an epidural um, procedure, you know, for my back. I've been having challenges. Let's just be real. The lady yesterday tried to send me the information through text. First of all, the call didn't go through. I missed her call and I was like, how did I miss her call right here? Then the text. You guys listen to me. As I'm reading the text, the text disappear. All I heard was, all I saw was, this is Shayla. My armor bearer was driving. I said, girl. The text just disappeared. She said, she just looked at me. I said, the text disappeared with all the information on where I was supposed to be. So I was supposed to be here at 6.30, got up at 5, I'm here. Wrong place. Because the, the text had the information on where I was supposed to be. So I went to the surgery place across the street. I'm not in the system. I said, okay, God, I'm not going to get my procedure today. So my daughter, I called her. I was telling her what was going on. She said, mom, just stay there till the place open at 730. That way you can tell them what happened because I'm, I don't know where to go because the text disappeared. The, the information disappeared, just disappeared. You guys, I'm not kidding. Hold on. I'm not done. So when I walk in from doing my show in Waycross um, yesterday, mom says, you have mail. It was a check. I placed it on the bed. The check is gone. It disappeared. Y'all think I'm crazy. Let me continue this. I've looked all over for that check. I cannot find it. And I don't know about you. We, we don't place, we don't displace money. I said, okay, 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 okay. So, you know, I'm praying. I said, God, what's he say? You're going to a different level. Higher warfare. Not how you're going to handle it. You know how I'm going to handle it? I'm going to call my lawyer, look, the check is gone. Can you tell them to resend the check? The appointment reschedule. Devil, you lose because I'm not frustrated. I'm not just telling you my business this morning. I'm trying to tell you that this is what he does. The enemy tries to frustrate you so that you get so angry, so mad, and you stop being in God. You stop hearing God. You stop flowing in God. Oh, I've grown, devil. That's what I'm really saying this morning. That's all you got. That's all you got. And that's how you got to tell that fool. That's all you got. Because God is going to allow tests. And we can ask God, God. The enemy cannot touch you without God's permission, Job. The enemy cannot touch you without God's permission, Job. One more time. The enemy cannot touch you without God's permission. So if God permitted this this morning, he wanted to see how Deanna was going to respond. Guess how Deanna is going to respond. Reschedule it. Lawyer, send another check. You lose, devil. You're not going to frustrate me. You're not going to get me out of the things of God. Because the enemy tries to frustrate you. I told you, the biggest weapons are deception and distraction. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. To see if I was going to get mad. I'm not getting mad about anything. The devil is a liar. Inconvenience? Yes. Mad? No. What am I saying? Attitude is really your altitude. And I'm learning that more and more. I don't care how anointed you are. You better know how to deal with people and situations that may arise because God is watching and so are other people to see how you respond, to see how you handle it. Because you prayed for that thing. You hope for that thing. You wish for that thing. God bring it to pass. God want to know, can you handle it? I can bring it to you, but can you handle the warfare that comes with it? You must be anointed to carry it. This is the carrier of the glory of God. This is the carrier of the anointing of God. You don't just carry the anointing. You got to walk in it even when things go to the left. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Because they're going to go to the left. This morning was a trip. Well, I've been in warfare. Y'all know. This, this, that, that. 
Now, I remember the ODN. I, I, who I'd have been heated. You know, you don't play with about money. <laughs> Y'all know it's real. Let's be real. I No, I refuse. I refuse. And it's so crazy is, that's my doctor just rolled in. Uh, he look at it. He probably know that. What's she doing? But I'm going to wait till the doctor, the office opens, so I'm going to tell him what happened. Whether he believe me or not, I really don't care. Because they don't understand. I probably gonna not, I probably won't say everything I'm telling you all because, you know. <sighs> so I said, okay, okay, okay. All right. And I'm tired because, you know, I just did my show. I had to go to Waycross. I mean, I've just haven't had any sleep too much. I'm just... But this is called training. I'm going to say it again. This is called training. I'm going to say it again. This is called training. God is training us how to walk, how to talk with him. Come on, we are the Joshua generation. I love Joshua because Joshua was about his business and he was about his God. One of the things that I love about Joshua is Joshua was so on it. He told everybody in the camp, you going to do this or you going to get about here? Pretty much. I'm just paraphrasing it. You going to live for God or you going to get from around me? Joshua didn't play. Joshua was the only one recorded that never sinned against God. I'm talking about totally. Joshua was just a warrior. He was raised in God. He was he was walking with God. And he was a warrior for God. Everybody want blessings, but everybody don't want to be a warrior. Well, let me tell you something. In case you didn't know, in order to truly walk in your blessings, you're going to have to be a soldier of God all the way. Not just today, not just tomorrow, but every day. When things are good, bad, different, whatever the case may be. Because God wants to know, can you handle it? Everybody say, God bless me. God bless me. God bless me. I want this. I want that. Can you handle the warfare that comes with the blessings? That is the question here this morning. I could handle it. That's all you got. That's all you got. <laughs> yes, I have been in, um, to be honest with you, my body is going through something right now. I probably really needed that shot this morning. But God, I'm going to trust you. But God, I know you got me. But God, I know it's going to be better. But God, you heard me. My God. So, I want to encourage you this morning. I don't care what you're going through or who you got to go through. <laughs> hey, come on. Y'all hear me. Go through it with grace. Go through it with integrity. Go through it with honor. Go through it with respect. Go through it with love. Don't let them see you sweat. Stop fussing. Stop cussing. Stop getting mad. Stop getting angry. The Bible says that Jesus was afflicted in all ways and opened not his mouth and no guile was foul in his mouth. God is teaching us how to walk before him and in him. Different level, different devil. Whew. So glad I got that out. So you see, so yeah. So after everything is transparent, I got I got in this car and I was like, you know, yeah, of course I was upset a little. And then God said, breathe. I said, this is a test. You're testing me. No, you are allowing me to be tested by the enemy to see how I'm going to respond, to see if I'm ready for that big blessing. Did y'all hear what I just said? To see if I'm ready for that blessing I prayed for, I fasted for, I begged. Y'all know how we do it. God, please, God, please, God, please. And when he do it, he wants to know, are you prepared? Were you ready? Because it's not just to pray for it. It's to be ready for it in every capacity. So with that being said, I'm going to sit my little stuff here until the office open at 730. And then I'll go and we'll reschedule, do whatever. I could still get it done today. If not, whatever. What I will not do is let the enemy frustrate me. Because it, it, thank you, Lord. It starts in the mind. Because if he if he distracts you and frustrates you, then you start getting into strife. Then you go into another spirit, and you start acting differently. Because anger rests in the bosom of fools. You have to be clear to hear. I used to teach my class that all the time. You have to be clear to hear. Most people like there was a situation. All right, and the person. They, they they called me this morning because really I was it's a whole that's a whole nother thing I'm not even getting into that, but put it this way I wasn't supposed to drive myself this morning, so I was reiterating to the person they said I didn't, I didn't hear you, is you no you didn't listen you heard me but you didn't listen I told you I had to be did the, and if you didn't I have to do this, cause Deanna gonna take care of Deanna business, 
because early this morning, you got to take care of you. The devil is a lie. So anywho, the enemy tries to frustrate you with people, with situations, with things. That's why you got to get in your word and fast and pray. God, keep me calm through the storm. I'm reminded when, when they was on the ship and it was just, it was a storm. Isn't it the storms of life right now? I mean, you're going through something. You can't tell me you're not. Stop, stop, stop. You know that we all going through something. Jesus was sleeping peacefully. And they say, they went down there, care not that we perish. Jesus looked at them. Peace be still. I'm going to say it again. Peace be still. <laughs> One more time. Peace be still. And he, I can imagine Jesus just looking at them. You still don't know who you are and who you are yet? Tell that storm to be calm. Tell that devil to back the heck up. Back, 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 back. Give me 50 feet. That's what I'm going to say this morning. <laughs> Somebody write that in the comments. Back, back. Give me 50 feet. Get from around me, devil. Because you're not going to get in me. <laughs> you, you're not going to make me act the way you want me to act. Hallelujah. It's called spiritual growth, everyone. Welcome to, get, welcome to it. Because in order to go higher in God, you must be a spiritual, you, you must move with spiritual maturity in this hour. You can't just want it and, and have it, but don't know how to act. Because I, I, I got to say something. I got to say something. I didn't understand this in life when I was young. I didn't. Attitude really determines your altitude. Some of you have the most nastiest attitude as Christians. I see it all the time. I'm like, <laughs> you, I say something. I, I, I can't hold water. I'm sorry. I can't hold water. I, don't come around me with the nasty attitude. Because I'm going to tell you. Because it happened yesterday. I was like, you know, but there's a way to say it. I said, you know how you can handle this this way or you can act a fool. You know, I'm going to tell you. And some of y'all just act a fool. You're doing all that for what? It's still the same situation. So now you got to calm down and reassess anyway. So you get yourself all worked up, cuss, fuss, mad, go crazy, and then still got to come back down to a level to think. <laughs> well, what you did all that for? You're just wasting your time and exertion and getting on somebody else's nerve. Learn to grow up. Shut your mouth. Stop all that foolishness. Y'all do it on Facebook. Just act a fool. You say you're a Christian. Okay. Jesus never acted like that. Even when they spit on him. Even when they poked him. Even when they mocked him. Even Jesus always was. He said, I only say what my father tell me to say. I'm sure he probably could have said something different like we do. Hmm. Come on, somebody. I'm preaching this morning. I'm preaching this morning. I'm preaching this morning. Early this morning. So with that being said... We all have to do better. You know, Les Brown says it. If you know better, you're supposed to do better. Period. End of story. Some people know and still don't want to grow. And then you wonder why this is not happening or that is not. Your attitude. Some of y'all, I'm telling you, you better change your attitudes. Some of you just, you get mad so fast. You say things. You Stop, calm down, pray. And I used to do it too, so you can't tell me anything. Been there, done that. Now, I have a piece I can't even understand. Now I respond in such a way, sometimes I just look at people. My favorite word is, okay, okay. Because I'm not getting ready to argue with you. I'm not getting ready to go there. I'm going to pray for you and walk away. This this is me walking away. Looking at you crazy, don't. <laughs> you better learn. You better learn. Because you're going to learn. That's one thing. Oh, you're going to learn. This way or that way, you're going to learn, says God. <laughs> Keep living. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to go back in this place. And that's what I'm learning. I'm learning I just got to keep on going. And I know God got me. I know God got Deanna Dixon. If no one else has me, God got me. He's been there through it all. He's always been there. Loving you. God loves you, people. And I'm not just saying it's not a cliche. God loves us. It's time for you to love you by coming up in God, growing up in God, learning God. Most of you don't know God's voice. That's why y'all always looking for a preacher and a teacher to tell you to tell you, got a word, got a word. It's in you. It's in you. It's in you. Pull it out. He's been talking to you. Pull it out. 
But but some of you are so busy. Busy, you, you know, everybody want to be a star. Everybody want to be a celebrity. Eee. With no anointing. You heard what I said. Can't lay hands on a bird. Bird fly left. <laughs> I know I'll be on one. Whatever. Whatever. I'm telling the truth. Can't pray for me because you can't pray for yourself. You can't lay hands on yourself, most of you. And that's not trying to put anyone down. That's just the truth. It's time to grow in God. It's time to grow in God. You know, you go to that job, make sure you have that money. You make sure when it comes to money, everybody make sure what they got to do because, you know, don't act don't like y'all don't know what I'm talking about this morning. But when it comes to the things of God, we kind of like today's with it. Okay, if, if it's convenience. Don't you know this requires sacrifice? Man, sacrifice. God got me fasting so much. Like even after this 21 day fast, I think I'm going to keep fasting. I, I, I'm telling you, I, I, I see it. I see where God's taking me. And, and it's a heavy place. It's, it's heavier than it's ever been. It's growth. It's growth. It's growth. And, and through the pain, you'll learn your purpose. Somebody write that in the comments. Through the pain, you'll learn your purpose. I'm going to say it again. Through the pain, you'll learn your purpose. And people of God, I've been through pain. But it's pushed me into my purpose. And it started with my dad dying. I was so sad. I was so hurt. And God said, now, now are you listening to me? Come up. Come up higher. Come up higher, Deanna. Come up higher, Deanna. Come up. I know it hurts. Come up. I, I, I know you're going through. Come up. I'm, I'm pushing something out of you. It is not until you're crushed that the all becomes pure and heavy. Because everybody want it. But everybody don't want to go through to get it. Or you're going to go through. And it's going to cost you everything. I do mean everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right. I feel the power of God. You guys, I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. God is good. God is so good. Hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. God keep you. It's time for us to grow strong in God right now. I'm telling you, that's what time it is. Grow strong in the Lord and the power of his might, said the Lord. Because let me tell you something. This is the body of Christ, the fivefold ministry. And that's why the churches are not having revival. Because until the fivefold comes, there cannot be complete revival. But guess what? We need each other so that we can do that mighty blow. Oh yeah. Now this is warfare when we all work together. This is what this is what he's scared of. You see, he loves when we, we at each other and fighting each other, jealous of each other. You 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 know. But when we come together. A mighty blow, said the Lord. A mighty blow, said the Lord. A mighty blow, said the Lord. That's where we at, church. <laughs> I know I'll be on one. So God bless you. God keep you. Oh, they, they rolling in now. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. <clears throat> he thought he was going to break me down. Mm -hmm. Over. I'm stronger. Mm -hmm. God bless.